Hey guys, it is Mike from UyghurTech.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your home network. I'm going to show you guys how to deal with your modem, your router, and also any external hubs or switches that you guys might have and to make them all work in a fast and functional way for your home. So let's go ahead and let's take a look here. Alright, so what I've got here is I've got a basic home network system that you guys might have. First of all, I have my modem over here. This is a Motorola modem, and it's just a simple cable modem. And then I have my Apple Airport Express router. And then I also have this large switch. It's a gigabit switch with a bunch of different ports in the back. So a lot of people are wondering, how exactly do I set this up in my home to make it work the best? And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kinda take you guys through a simple setup and this is basically, you'd have this stuff in a cabinet or maybe a desk, and this is how I set it up, this is how it's gonna work the best. So what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna switch these around right here. And so first we're gonna deal with the modem. So this modem can come from your cable provider or you can go out and buy your own. I bought my own because it saves you guys from having to rent from the cable company. A lot of times they charge you per month. So if you go out and buy your own, make sure nowadays you're getting a DOCSIS 3, that's D-O-C-I-S 3.0 router, and so this is just a Motorola surfboard router, and I think you can get it, or sorry, I'm going to call it a router, I, router and modem. This is the modem, though. And so you can get this modem kind of anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, wherever you go. So the first thing you're going to do is, I don't have the cord here, but you are going to plug in your cable to your wall. And so it's just a regular copper cable. And so you're going to plug that in, screw it in right here, and then screw the other end into your wall. And that is the first step. And now, obviously, I'm running all these without power, so you will have to power these on afterwards. But then... On all of these modems, you're going to have a main Ethernet port right here. This is where your Internet is coming from. So this modem is in charge of taking the cable from your wall and outputting Internet through a Ethernet cable. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug an Ethernet cable right into that slot. And I'll keep all this stuff turned around. And then I'm going to have my router. So this Airport Express is a wireless router. And it also has a place to connect another hub for Ethernet right here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your cable straight from your modem, grab the cable here, and you're going to plug it into the internet slot on your router. So usually on the Airport Express, it's a little circle icon, but most of the other times on any other uh, Netgear routers or anything like that, there will be a yellow port or it'll very much distinguish which one's your internet and which one's your hub port. So now I have my modem set up to my router. Now it's very important to go straight from your modem to your router. This pretty much will solve a lot of problems that I see with some people go straight from maybe a modem into a switch and then the router uh, is plugged into the switch. But really what we want to do is go straight from the modem to the router. The router is going to be in charge of all your IP addresses on your network. It does what its name is. It routes all your network traffic. So to save you a lot of hassle, go straight from your modem to your router. So now that we have this router set up, on my Airport Express, I have a lot of extra ports. I have a USB port, so if you want to plug in such things as a printer, uh, you can do that. And it also has a headphone jack for AirPlay. Uh, I know your router is going to be a lot different for everyone, but on the Airport Express, those are the ports I have, plus my power. And so the next thing I'm going to do is now I have my router. So now, pretty much, I can set up a wireless network and be fine. My internet can go to any device that can run on wireless uh, just with this simple router. And so we are all good. But for me, I have a lot of things that I want to hardwire into my network um, to save bandwidth and also have a constant connectivity. I like hardwiring as many things as I can. I know there's a lot of arguments nowadays that wireless is going to be end up being faster and stuff like that, but I like to hardwire everything as much as I can. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this switch. Uh, this is a gigabit switch, and it has a lot of different ports on the back. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take another Ethernet cord that we have here, and we're going to go straight from our hub over here into the network port on the router. So I have an extra spot here that I'm going to plug it in. And so now you can see that I have the internet going from the modem into the router. The router is going to handle all of our network traffic, tell everything where to go, and that can do it wirelessly. Or now, since we've plugged in another hub, we can go from our router to our hub or our switch. Um, and then that all that network, we can plug in as many devices as we want here. So we can plug in an Xbox or a computer. Maybe you have an old computer that doesn't have Wi-Fi. And all that can go into this switch. Now, after I have all this set up, now is when I power things on. So now is when I would grab my cables and I would plug in my 
um, switch first and then my router and then I would plug in my modem and power it all up and you should be all set to go. All right, so those are the basics on how to get your home network up and running. I hope this provides a base level of knowledge for you guys, and I hope that now you have your internet working in your house with your home network. Now, if you guys have any extra things you want to add on to your network, maybe an extender, maybe you have a really big house and you need multiple wireless access points, be sure to plug that into the switch. Um, you don't, and you want to name it the same name as whatever you named your network. And so there's a lot of other questions like that. So if you guys have any extra stuff that I didn't cover in this video, feel free to email me. My email is mike at uyghurtech.com or tweet at me at uyghurtech and hopefully I can help you guys solve your problems. I know I didn't cover all of the different scenarios. So if you guys have a custom scenario that you guys are having problems with, let me know and I will help you guys out with that. Feel free to check out my other tutorials on my YouTube page. Hit that subscribe button so that you guys can see all of my videos. I do a lot of other tutorials on you know, networking, computers, applications, all that sort of stuff, so be sure to check that out. The one thing, though, I did want to talk to you guys about is dollarshaveclub.com. If you guys shave, you guys need to check out dollarshaveclub.com. I'm talking to you men and you women out there. Dollarshaveclub.com offers all of your shaving needs at a fraction of the price and they ship it right to your door. I use the 4X blade. That cost me $6 a month. Yeah, $6 a month. That's like nothing compared to the $25 I would have paid for the high-end razors at the store. And these razors are even better than the razors you guys will find at the store. Also be sure to check out the Dr. Carver's shaving line. They have a shaving lotion, uh, shaving cream that is fantastic. No razor bumps. It's great for sensitive skin, stuff like that. They have the Dr. Carver's Post Shave Lotion, which is fantastic. Keeps your face just feeling fresh after you shave. Makes me look forward to shaving the next morning. And also they have their One Wipe Charlies. It's for when you're in the restroom, keeping you fresh and clean. Simply fantastic. Go to dollarshaveclub.com slash Uyghurtech. Check them out. I think you guys should. I love them. You guys will too. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, but until I see you guys next time, tech on.